guys, and welcome to Prison Architect. Let's just take the call of CEO, bleh, CEO and I'll explain to you guys in just two seconds what this game is all about. CEO, this is a tough one. There's a prisoner incarcerated at this facility who's been convicted of a double murder and sentenced to death. That's where we come in. We're being con contracted to construct an execution chamber in time for the guy's big day. Oh, they're all naked! This is where I want the new facility to be built. The first step with any project like this is to construct the building itself with enough space inside to fit an execution room and a holding cell. So let's get started. Construct a new building here. We will also need an entrance for the new f execution facility. Build a large jail door into the south wall. Okay, so before we do that, welcome everyone to a new series to my channel. I hope you all enjoy it. We're going to kill some people here. Uh, the game's called Prison Architect. And it's sort of like SimCity. If you guys know SimCity, uh, you have a big city and you've got to like take care of all your people, make sure everyone's happy. This is like SimCity, but this is... You've got to make sure every prisoner in your prison is happy with you. So they don't try and escape. <laughs> so they don't try and escape. They don't burn down your prison. They don't murder your wives. Uh, rape everyone in it. And yeah, you know what I mean. All that kind of stuff. Now this game is pretty detailed. It's new, so it's still in alpha. So expect changes over the time. I can see this game really going on my channel for quite some time so if you like it leave me a like tell me <laughs> tell me if you want to see more and I'll make more definitely now for the beginning we're supposed to construct a execution facility so let's build a building let's build a building oh and if you haven't been if you haven't noticed it yet I am currently oh he's here again one second, let's get rid of this. Incoming call from the CEO. CEO, your workmen are responsible for construction of buildings. For the construction of buildings. You I, I don't blame you. You're getting old. You you everyone forgets these everywhere. They'll collect the steel and concrete from this storeroom and take it to the construction site. They'll use those raw materials to build the foundations and framework of your new building. This is the slowest part of construction, so you should plan ahead when building new facilities. While we wait, take a look around. Use WASD or the arrow keys to move around, and use the mouse wheel to zoom in. Pretty basic controls, I think. You can just zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. You can go actually pretty far in, as you can see. You can see this guy's been built with a little bit of black wool, and blue wool, and white wool, and cyan wool here as well. It's very nice, very nice. Yep, yep. He's gonna call again, isn't he? Inside the building, I want a jail cell and an execution room. Partition the space by constructing some brick walls. Okay, <laughs> dude, chill out here. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Hey guys, welcome. If you're not, and you're wondering what is this crazy audio about, what's wrong with Lord, Play Lord, Play Lord Playful? Uh, I've got a new microphone, actually. I've got a Blue Yeti, which is. Oh, let's turn it off. What happened? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Going all crazy with the electronics. So I've got a new microphone. It's actually a Blue Yeti. So it's not really cheap. But I've had some problems recording with it uh, just a few minutes ago. And But it's, it's, it's good quality as you can hear. If you don't like it, tell me. And I'll see what I can do. But for now, I'm, I really enjoy the quality of this thing. So, um jobs blocked why blocked cute 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 why was that blocked never mind that let's just concentrate on building these brick walls guys get to work I'm your chef for today sounds like I'm cooking food for you but no I'm your boss I'm your boss I'm your boss I make money and I give it to you. I'm your boss. Demolish walls. Dirt! 
Oh, oh, cool! I can turn stone. I'm, I'm, I'm an alchemist. I can turn stone into, into dirt. Can we like put a pathway down here as well? Concrete tiles. Is that what they're using down there? I hope so. Oh no, 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 no! Get rid of the. You can uh, hold the right mouse button to get rid of stuff. Oh, you ass! I just wanted to put a floor down. Now add large jail doors to those dividing walls. You can rotate an object before placing placement by clicking the middle mouse button or pressing R. What the? No, don't do that! Trolley for floor. Okay, so let's put the jail door down. Let's see. We need another one here. Oh, no, wrong button. Put that one down as well. Nope. I'm getting old. Yeah, it's, it's not funny. Not funny at all, okay? So, where's, where's, where's the floor? I want to put the floor down! <laughs> Crunky, co concrete tiles. Here we go. Yeah, that's nice. Right? Now, the stuff around it is that gravel. Is it gravel? I don't know. Is it gravel? I don't know. What is it? That's looking good. We now need to designate rooms within those spaces. Designate a cell in the smaller area where your where our condemned inmate will live. Then designate the execution room itself in the larger area. I'm gonna kill some people today. Make a cell right in here. Execution room right up here. Kill them with some electricity. Those new rooms have requirements before they become functional. The cell needs a bed and a toilet. The execution room requires the electric chair. I told you we're gonna kill them with some electricity. And they need a toilet and a bed. Did I? No. Get rid of that. I thought. I thought stuff turns itself. Let's put that down like that. I was wrong! Now, the, the great thing about this game actually is you can click on anything. Almost anything. And the cool thing is if you click on the pres pr prisoner, the prisoner, it tells you how long he's still got to stay in prison. And. And. Wow. What he's done and how long he's sitting for what. It's pretty awesome. It's it's really a nice game, and it's only just come out, so expect changes. Like I said before, robbery. What aggravated burg bleh, burglary? <laughs> aggravated vehicle theft. Okay, so can you be a calm vehicle thief as well? Can you just come up and say, "Hey, dude, you know I really like your car, and it's nice and stuff. It's a real nice Ferrari." I was just going to ask you, can I please steal your car? And the other guy's like, yeah, sure. I mean, you're, killing, you're, you're making a living, I guess, by thieving stuff. So, here you go. No problem. But I'm going to have to sue you, so sorry. But it's friendly. Friendly people. That's the essentials taken care of. But there are still a few improvements you could make. It's up to you, though. These aren't strictly required. It depends how much you care about your prisoners and their environment. Pretty much, actually, because I don't want them going bonkers. The cell itself could be improved with an outward-facing window and a small bookshelf. And a facility would look better with a higher-quality floor material, like wooden floorboards or mosaic tiles. Outside, you could add some lightning. <laughs> no, you could add some lighting and a paved pathway if you think it needs it. You can add some lightning. <laughs> Thunder! Thunder! You've been thunderstruck! Um, that looks weird. Very weird. This is the many question. Edward Romsey. I wasn't just laughing, not at the picture that I see up there with um, which I'm pointing my finger at. A teacher once. Would you believe? 
It's not our place to decide if he deserves it. This, the law has made that decision. We're just here to do a job. Once you are satisfied the facility is ready, you can begin the prisoner transfer to his new cell. Simply right click on... Huh? No? Where did I get the right from? Simply click on him, then right click just outside his cell to initiate the transfer. Oh boy. Okay, let's see. Is, is, the, is this place finished yet? No, it's not. Gotta make it all fancy. Fancy and stuff. Let's make some lighting here. What else do we need? Some paving stuff. We've put paving stuff down already, haven't we? Okay, let's do it again. It's not burning a phone. Do it again. Okay, need a window. Ah, uh, let's give him another window just so he's satisfied enough. And a bookshelf. Oh. Sweet. We've got the 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 most fancy, the fanciest execution room thing someone would ever want to have. I mean, seriously, if you would want to die anywhere, wouldn't it be in here? Yeah, let's use Karami for in here. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, 50 bucks for a Well, we've got the money. Let's do it. Oh yeah, put in all the ceramic floor in here. <laughs> Are we wasting money? I don't know. Are we? Nah, we're not wasting money. Look at how fancy this is looking. Man, I'm liking this. Yeah, that, that's good. That's awesome. The room is ready for you now, my boy. Put the tiles away and follow the priest into death. Hey, hey! Okay, he acted a little bit quick. The chief! Don't shed one tear for this guy. He's got it. He's a stone cold killer. Guilty as charged. He even confessed. Want to hear his description of what he did? It's juicy stuff. It was around 11 p.m. The lights were already on. I knew she was her. I'm just walking down the street with my every 3 player in, going towards some lights. Now I'm suddenly inside a house. It had a great door on it. Why don't I have a normal door on my house? What? Why do I have a... Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Close your eyes, everyone. I knew it. I'd catch you two here. I knew I'd catch you two here. I'm stuttering. Edward, I... Don't. Just don't. What are you going to do? Seriously? <laughs> that is morbid, but funny at the same time. <laughs> what the hell? Who made this game? But it's cool. Wow. I like how he had a gate door in front of it as his front door. Pretty cool. Clear as day, if you ask me. Deserves every vault he's gonna get. All men deserve forgiveness. Even him. Are you sure in yourself that you can deal out such final judgment? Catching your wife with another man is no excuse for what he did. And he went there with a loaded gun, knowing he'd find them together. That's double premeditated murder. He's done nothing wrong. He's done nothing but cooperate with the authorities. This state is making an example of him. If he'd committed his crime a hundred miles north, he'd be looking at a life imprisoned instead. How is that justice? Do you want a guy like this running free? I'll sleep just fine at night when I know he's gone. <coughs> CEO's calling me. I'm I'm busy, busy guy. Good work so far. 
However, there's one problem. The execution room isn't functioning yet. What? Because it has it doesn't have any power. Well, why are the lights on then? We need to connect it to the electrics electricity supply. Tell me one thing. If it's dark outside, that room is lit. Where's the electricity coming from? Little hamsters down below? Running in little wheels or something? We are now viewing the prison and utilities mode, which shows you the electric wiring layout for the entire prison. It's cool. Each building in the prison is connected to the power grid by the thick underground electrical cables. Power is provided to the prison by this substation, which draws electricity from the national grid. Oh, it's gone again. I broke it. Do I get like... Oh. As you can see, this entire wing of the prison cell is without power. All of the lights are out. To fix this problem, we first need to switch into utilities mode to understand why the lights are without power. Okay, let's understand why these lights are without power then. The nearest electrical cable cables are too far away for our engineers. Aww. So they can't completely... <laughs> our engineers can't complete the wiring for this area. Extend the electrical cables nearby to cover this wing of the prison. I apologize guys, sometimes, 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 I'm bad with reading. Oh, that's not right, is it? I'm bad with reading if you know what I mean. I'm guessing I'll just have to connect this up. Ta da Oh yeah. But this mode is actually pretty cool. You just look at everything, you can see where the cables are going, you can see what's got power, what hasn't. I like it. It's pretty cool, pretty neat. Pretty neat. I'm gonna make myself a buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna make myself a buddy. <laughs> oh man. Oh what? Wages? You get paid? <laughs> Federal ground. That's cool. I get paid. Get paid, sucker. And they're putting the wiring down for the electrical chair as well. Lights aren't the only thing that needs power. Your electric chair does too. Yeah, hang on, I'm getting to that. See? It's done. Use the power cables to connect the execution facility to the power grid. Done, baby. See? The electric chair itself is a spe special type of electrical item. It requires its own dedicated power line. You'll need to connect it up directly with the mains cable. Huh. Is that wrong? Oh, no. It w oh, okay. Good. Ah. <laughs> it's, it's right. I thought I had to connect it right to the, to the big, to this big thing take another another cable off here and lead it directly to the chair but apparently not we're almost done I think we should test the new execution room at least once before we try to use it though I'm just going to turn it on for a few seconds make sure everything is okay it's gonna work oh no well crap well that didn't work <laughs> no shit Looks like we drew too much power and tripped a circuit breaker in the power station. The whole station, the whole prison is dark. No hell. How does he know that? We're going to need more juice to be able to handle the power spike that the electric chair generates. Give me all your power, baby. First, we need to turn on, turn the power back on. This is a two-step process. Step one. Switch each capacitor back on by clicking on them in utilities mode. Step 2. Switch the power station back on by clicking on it. Then build three more capacitors so we can so we have enough power capacity to handle the electric chair. Once you've done that, test the electric chair again by clicking on it in utilities mode to turn it on. Gotta click on it in utilities mode, eh? I'm a badass. I'm clicking on it in normal mode. Suck it, game! Oh, that works as well. <laughs> oh, 
Oh wow, that worked. That worked. Yeah, that works. I'm sure that works. That worked. Why did he tell me to put him on in utilities mode then? <laughs> oh, that was logic. Of course, obviously, if someone tells you to do it the correct way, you do it the wrong way. That's obviously the first thing you do, right? Okay, they're building in the capacitors. You're good guys. I'm, you know, one day I will, I will invite you to uh, coffee and biscuits. I'm not gonna make a cake for you guys. It's just too much work. No cake. No cake for you. So this has got power. We just have to install the capacitors to give us some power. Give me power, like a maniac. Give me power. I'm gonna fix that! Yeah! Guys, come on, get working! What are you slacking off here? Did your mama not tell you to be very precise in your timing? It is four o'clock in the morning. People, come on. Chop, chop. Are oh, they doing stuff with, with just one of these things? Brilliant. Well done, guys. I wouldn't manage that. Okay, so each capacitor adds one of these bars. That's cool. Okay, let's test it. Let's see what this actually does. Let's zoom in. Turn it on. Oh, okay, I get it. That's why it didn't work. Switch it off again. See, so I always call it. Well done. I believe we are finished with this job. What happens now is out of our hands. We did a professional job. And that's important in our business. Try not to worry about what happens next. Oh man. Poor man. He prays to Jesus. In a time of frustration and anger. A man enters the church. With something to say. With something he needs to get. Searching for forgiveness. Maybe he's just searching for a pot of tea. But one thing, one thing is certain. I cannot speak my own language. Can I help you? Come down here. Look at me from below. Are you looking for forgiveness? I don't know. I have to do something. I can't live with the things I've done. You have to turn yourself in. Whatever you've done, you cannot evade the consequences. You will never be able to live with yourself until you face up to your past. I want to go back. I want to forgive her. I want her to forgive me. God will forgive you no matter what you have done, and if you ask him to. But you must answer for your crimes in the eyes of the Lord. There is no other way. Let me pat your head a little bit from above. Do that with little. It is. It is time, Edward. You have done the right thing, even though this world will not forgive you for it. What's this guy doing here? Enjoying the show or something? What's his name? I will find out. You will be with God soon, and He will have the final judgment on you. Do you want to be next, Ape Man Henderson? I'm gonna call you Ape Man. bit morbid. Are they really gonna kill him? Or will a call from someone very important stop everything? Find out in the next episode. <laughs> Just kidding. Flip it. He's gonna flip it. Sorry. Just 
thought maybe some enthusiasm would do the trick here. Sorry. Edward Ramsey, you have been found guilty of two counts of murder in the first degree. The penalty is death. Do you have anything to say? Susan, I'm sorry. See Daisy Act. That went quick. To be quite honest, I hate death sentences. Every country that still doesn't should get rid of them. It's, it's not really something you should do. Compensating death with death is not something that sounds right. Okay, so he's dead. We've done our job. And the introduction of this game ends right here. We can either restart the introduction with, which I'm not really keen on doing because I've just done it. Or we can create a new prison. And that, guys, I'm going to let leave up to you. If you enjoyed this little episode of me talking too much, then... <laughs> Leave it down below in the comments. Tell me if you would like to watch some more. I would enjoy doing more. And I would enjoy you guys supporting me throughout the series. So leave it down below in the comments. Love you guys. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Stay healthy.